Now this. Some lovely violin. This is Kingdom Death music. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not even sure what game this is. Apparently Breath of Fire 3. By a town music or something. <clears throat> Welcome back to Kingdom Death, guys. Don't mind my rambling. There's a lot of stuff here. We have a very big year. I'm sure you guys are as excited as I am to get this year in the going because we have a Kingsman level 2. I don't think I marked that yet. I'm gonna be fighting a level 2 and I have a lot of prep work to do. I haven't even finished setting up everybody. I just have some general ideas and now I'm looking at this. I have to move this into Lucina over here. I have some general ideas and what we're ultimately going to try to do is kill the king's man. But I'm not going to be using my best people. Most of my best people kind of got screwed in ways. <laughs> anyway, we need to do some things. First, we need to fix what we forgot to do. Legendary monster rewards the beast of sorrow, as you guys remember. And the first time we killed it, he gives you an iron and he gives the person that kills him a random fighting art. And do either of those things. So here's our iron, which we're going to make use of. And Aversa is the one that killed it. So just to double e check. Victory conditions right here. We're just making up for that. Aversa. She would get a random fighting art. Three choices as we are romantics. And <clears throat> we have Clutch Fighter here. Or Rator of Death. Oh yes, I want to mention that too. I am on Discord, so you may hear me talking to my friends if they're uh, directing anything at me. Most of them are preoccupied with uh, whatever it is they're doing, so I figured I'd record on the side. Yo, what's good, man? Anyway, you guys might hear me talking to them for a while. I forget the name of the fourth region. I don't know. Yeah, that sounds right. Double dash. Double dash is okay. Orator death is okay. Clutch Vita. Hmm, I wonder if Orator of Death combos with leader, since when you die technically have leader still <laughs> interesting combo right uh i don't love any of these double dash is definitely pretty useful situationally so we will take double dash this goes on to a versa vestaphobe who we're not going to be taking with us although Hmm. Hmm. Who for thought in the future? Nah, I don't think I'll be able to make use of her Leyline Walker. Anyway, I thought of a genius idea. We're going to... Rat. That's over a thousand, my friend. <laughs> We're, go we're going to ret this fresh acanthus into a monster hide. And I also took away the monster hide that I put aside. Since we can ret this year or next year uh, an herb, so we don't want to spend our herbs, I can still innovate after this Kingsman's fight disaster. Likely disaster, but I don't know, we might do okay. Anyway. I want this extra leather, so we're going to make five leather. Spending all our hide resources. And three of these are going to be used for the beacon shield. Two iron, three leather, four bone. We get a beacon shield. And we're going to make the lantern glaive now to get a bit of a power boost that I think I need 
So two iron, two leather, four bone for that. We actually just happen to have the perfect amount of shit. That's one, two, three, four. Got some cat teeth being used here. Let me get rid of this stuff. So we have these items, and then we're going to make another organ for more kids. Fermentate an organ. So now we have six. And we're going to replace this monster grease that we keep replacing every single year because I keep losing it. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to leave this stuff here. I have to clear my throat. <coughs> Excuse me. We have four endeavors left. I have reserved one for shrine. Let's do the shrine now. Hopefully we get a four higher as the extra armor will come in handy. We do get a four, a pretty lucky stuff. So. I'm just gonna mark that with this token to remind me later. All right, we're gonna armor up with shrine. Now, this is where I need to set things up. So I do have a plan in mind. But before we do anything, the first thing I want to do is attempt to get Fear Mastery. Now, depending on how lucky I am, this is going to determine what I do with my endeavors. So the first thing we're going to do is Rhythmic Trance to get two survival. So we have maximum odds and then we're going to Nightmare Train. So we'll spend three survival and we have five re-rolls to so hopefully get an eight or nine out of ten oh, diggity damn that's the first try okay okay calm down all right we need to do that again and we need to do that again so what we're gonna do is rhythmic trance get two more survival and a nightmare train one more time this time with only four re-rolls Holy shit, the double light! Guys, we have finally acquired Spear Mastery. All of our spear people. Okay, this is above average odds. Man, I'm stoked. So, whenever a Spear Master hits a monster with a spear, they're gonna spend the survival to get the prior target token. This, this we don't mind too much. Makes spear users good uh, defenders as well. And if they're behind someone, they work extremely well with shield people, because you can give them the priority target token that The thing we wanted was everyone has spear specialization now, forever and ever. And I still have an endeavor left. Wow, this worked out beautifully. Wait, I don't have one left, right? Trance, drum. Trance, training, trance, training. We actually don't have one left, so that's not there. Wow. Okay, we finally attained the mastery. Let's pack up Jerome. Jerome is secretive, so he's doing his own business this year. Let's put them in this order. So I can take them out the way I like to. Oh, uh, wait. <clears throat> so Jerome can't hang out with us, which is a shame as he has King Step. Would have been useful to have two King Steppers. And we're not bringing a Versa, so let's pack a Versa. Alright, we'll put a Versa out to the side here. Let me get their character thing. Lucina, a Versa, Jerome. Ursa goes on her, these two. I don't know why I'm so zoomed out. <clears throat> Get on their peoples. Okay, we still have a bell. We might use the bell. Bell is extremely good. And we're highly likely to die. This is a hard fight. Kingsman, I attest personally that he is the most difficult monster in the core set alone. 
At least in my opinion. And level 2 and 3 have the one card that makes it pretty tedious to deal with. Now I have a little strategy in mind. I believe that <clears throat> I looked this up in advance. It does work. Most people say it does work. I got confused for a little bit, but you can encourage standing survivor though. Uh, we wanted someone with leadership. Now, unfortunately, my only people with leadership are the people that can't go on the hunt. And Harden. Harden's coming. Of course, we want Harden to get the last kill. <clears throat> Alright. And I think we're taking Barst as well. Barst is a given. Now, with Harden joining us, we have to sacrifice one of our armor sets. We're going to not use the White Lion here. I think we shouldn't need it. I'm just going to put all these in there and pile. <clears throat> I may want that dagger. Harden... Unfortunately has stuff... Here. Hold on, Steam's popping up bullshit that I need to deal with. Apparently Steam's having problems. Thankfully we're not reliant on online. Uh, oh yeah, we've got this crap we have to cater to. We won't have this token anymore. Let me just move this to the side. <clears throat> so Harden here. Is gonna join us. We want him to get the killing blow. And we can also try to protect him. So, what we wanna do. I'm gonna bring the skull helm. We're going to give him the round leather shield. <clears throat> Because he should hopefully not be in as much danger as the other guy. And then I was going to give him the steel sword. His Harden has two accuracy. But we hit on a two. And we can get rid of all of the battle pressure. That's the general gist. I want to give him salve so he can hide. And then the other thing I thought of actually... I give him the whip too. Because he has three strengths, so if I do want to fight with him in the blind spot, a six, that's a eleven, five. So we wound on a five up. We can have an extra luck. Maybe we can get lucky steel sword crit. I might mess with this further, but this is looking alright. I know I sacked the legs. The legs can take one hit, because we're going to have plus one armor everywhere. Ideally, he won't be getting hit. Maybe instead of the steel sword, he should carry the Because then he can hit. And wound pretty well from a safe distance. And this hits on fours because of my accuracy. And if I have the extra distance, I should have a little more leeway. So I think I might give him the lantern glaive. That's two dice with a lock. I'll think about this. I'm going to think about this. Let me leave this out. We don't want to use the steel shield as this this uh, Kingsman does some bullshit. Uh, we want to replenish our evasion on this guy, so he's going to have two evasion. Ugh. 
Yeah, normally I have this stuff all set up in advance. Also, it looks like I need to pick everything up. Normally I have this set up in advance, but it's pretty hard to think of everything I need to do until I saw how... Honestly, I didn't think I was going to get that twice. I was going to go once, maybe give somebody... Uh, what do you call it? Rhythm Chaser? For extra evasion, but now we just got a mastery. Which is pretty... A bell is not going to be here. He's our main damage dealer. Him combined with charge. I might give him the king spear. He should be doing a lot of damage. I could actually give him the dagger. Now let's move a bell over to here. Because he charges. And he's insane. So we get the movement bonus. Which helps in this fight. Uh, the dagger can proc the helmet, because we have a green, a blue, and a red, so that's at least one evasion. I'm also Rhythm Chaser, so I should probably be the one holding this so I don't lose it. And what does this say? I don't have any huffy gear either. So, we can be dodgy. We'll have two extra evasion. We'll dodge 50% of the time. Unless the rolls are against me. Gives him an open slot. I'll have to think of what I want in this slot. Right, so for this character, we want Barst. Pretty much just because he's available. He has Timeless Eye. He has Combo Master. I don't have endeavors to put that shit on anybody else. So I'd rather not lose Bars, but I am going to put his life on the line. He's going to join us over here. Beacon Shield can be held by this guy. Uh, he's going to be our main tank, hopefully, and our main support. I need to... Ooh. Yeah, instead of, <clears throat> even if I lose the token because I get knocked down at some point, I think I'd rather have the King Spear and the Bone Dagger. A little extra damage. Consistency, it's also range, so when I'm trying to charge, I'll have the range. Do the damage that I need. Five and three, six, seven, eight. Plus charge movement up to... Well, this number is going to keep going down. I'll tell you guys that right now. I should be able to wound on high numbers for a while. Who else do I take with us? Could take Sheena, just because she has six movements. Extra movement helps tremendously. Uh, could take Ogma. Ogma has an extra dodge. He also has a lot of survival, though. We're gonna get five, six. We get seven. It's pretty good. Eight, nine. If I take this, so we will be at max. But Agma can dodge two times. Only has one insanity. Who should the fourth be? No one else really has much going on with them. She has six movement, but she's apathetic. I think it's okay if Agma dies. Let's take Agma. He doesn't have the extra movement, but if he's mostly gonna be hopefully tanking for me, we're gonna want this extra dodge chance. So we got Agma, we have a bell, we have bars, and where the hell is Harden's figure? 
Did I accidentally delete Horton's figure? Or is he inside? Ah, he's over here. Right. Now, we still have the Steel Sword, too. I like this idea a lot. So the Steel Sword is pretty strong. And what we're gonna do... We're going to try to make it so Harden... We're basically gonna rush down the King's... Harden's gonna use his leadership to encourage Bars, so he gets three speed. We're gonna get three chances at getting the perfect hits. Not a reliable strategy, but we'll have a, a few turns that we can do that. I'm gonna need somebody else to uh, <clears throat> learn King's Step, probably, since he constantly gets his cards back. We want. Ogma to block and we absolutely have to scry. Kingsman has some bad cards that we want to avoid. Oh. I'm just trying to think, is there anything I'm forgetting about? I think this is pretty good. This gives me some more leeway with my reach, otherwise we have the Bone Dagger and time aside just to try and build up survival, be aggressive with it. Squeamish is checked. Uh, the only thing I would do... I don't think I need Cat Eye Circlet for this fight, so I could carry the Steel Sword instead. Granted, the Beacon Shield is basically a little less accurate than this, although the Beacon Shield doesn't have Sharp, so if I really needed to attack with this guy, I could just use the Beacon Shield. Hmm. I don't think I need this anyway, though. What else can I use? Uh, we don't want Fecal Salve. I should be the target most of the time. Take a stone nose? <laughs> I could take a founding stone and just chuck it at something that calls a wound in an emergency. And if I get lucky with it, even if I'm not scrying, could just have this. Does anyone else want the steel sword? Nah, uh, maybe not, maybe not. Not. What else can I do? I take this in case iron pops up. I think just have an extra bandage. But he doesn't really cause bleed outside of the severe injury. So I don't know if I need that. Although this guy should be attacking every single turn. We'll, we'll roll with this. I think we'll roll with this. I think we're ready. Alright, let's do the final preparations for departing. I will... let's get a copy of the King's Man. It is time. I do expect... let me just say my piece. I'm okay with you guys dying. <laughs> the King's Man is really, really, really quite bad. So, we are likely to die. Got basic pizza location. Let me just go. Oh, good. It's already already set for me. So we just pull these out. Hold on a second. I'm gonna do something. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, we pull that out in advance. We've got advanced. We've got basic. Got the dude who's gonna kill me. Got the legendary. I may as well put that there. This is only legendary and then he's gonna use it. Okay. So Kingsman level two. Six fifteen one and one. He has 
all of his things. So, <clears throat> excuse me. 11, 4, and 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 11. Okay, we shuffled everything. This is his new card right here, so. Silent him. Uh, there's a strange hymn emanating from the king's man that can only be felt. At the start of our turn, we all gain a minus one movement token. And that is super annoying. As you can imagine, because we get that on the very first turn. And then, if our movements reduce to zero, we immediately suffer a random brain trauma. And then remove all the tokens we gained from Silent Him. So, we're inevitably going to be suffering brain traumas. Now, at any point, I can spend all of my survival to remove these tokens, which is kind of bullshit. And then the King's Man has all this stuff, so we've got the cards on the top, the weak spot. He does his basic action first. He always attacks at range 2, and we've got... The battle tempo for everybody except King Step people as you archive the card when you have that. And um I think that sets up the King's Man. Oh yeah, we need terrain. So <clears throat> King's Man. King's Man, the King's Man. Two random one stone column. Oh. Since I'm doing this manually, I didn't notice this before, but I'm going to be missing a point here. I'm going to be anal about this. <laughs> Yeah, good enough, right? Good enough. Maybe... I don't know. Ugh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> it works okay. Anyway. Oh, look, it's the damn Warfane. Yo, tall grass. Dude. RNG is on my side today. I expect extremely good dice rolls. So Tall Grass is gonna be a, a game changer. This fight is really hard, but the Tall Grass is going to help a little bit. If I can make good use of it. Uh, this goes here, and this goes here, I'm pretty sure it's three away. Yo, Ninja Gaiden music, it is three away. Or vain. <laughs> Let's put it over here. <coughs> uh, because I'm gonna be hyper aggressive, I'll put grass over here. Let me think about this. Uh, okay. How do we do this? So, he's gonna have four movement. I actually need to dash with him on the first turn. Before before I plan this, let's do... We're, we're departing and arriving, so we get three survival. We get our armor bonus. Let me just delete that token. There's no other benefits happening here. I'm just taking a glance. Alright. <clears throat> so we get that, we get this stuff, we get this. But we're we're maxed. We have this. We have nothing else going on. I think I need to pick this stuff up. Yeah. So we are at five armor all around. With the evasion token. Ability to dodge twice. 
So that's Agma and Agma. We want to take all the hits, so I'm gonna put Agma here. I want him to be adjacent. And then the grass. A bell! We get three for the parting, one for the whisker harp. We get two insanity for this stuff. We get a uh, one evasion token. We get two evasion tokens. Uh, one for the rhythm chaser, one for our helmet. You are insane at the start. We have our two extra movements. Uh, I think we're pretty much good to go. For the start, since I have King's Spear, we want to be... We're going to have six movement. So this guy wants to be in the front. I can be over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, I can't be over here. So I could actually be here. By six. We can charge over to here and then hit him. <clears throat> He'll be two away. Agma, we probably want here then, so you can go one, two, three, four, and then dash one, two, three, four. Uh the only thing is I don't want to line people up like that, so maybe I'll be on this side. We'll attack here. We want burst over here. By six. I can charge, we can try to do some damage with the charge. First, we need to break his thing. So, this guy only has four movement, Harden. So, if I put Harden here, we can go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I can get on this side. And ideally, since I'll be in the blind spot, I won't be the closest threat. This guy will actually be the closest threat. This works. Harden can dash up here aggressively. We just want him to hit and get rid of the things with his lantern and glaive. And then this guy can go and do some damage. Agma goes last. Right, I'm not done with Barst. Or am I done with a bell? Uh, we get plus one armor. Thinking of way too much at the same time here. I take this fight way too seriously. Uh All right, let's finish this. Forest gets max survival with all the survival stuff. We get two insanity. Why am I not carrying another item? Hold on a second. Before we depart, he may as well hold something. Ah. Hmm. But what do I give him? Organizing stuff. I don't know why. <laughs> I think we'll take the dry decanthus. I'll just say we have that for safety. <laughs> I don't know what else to take with them. Anyway, we get the extra armor for shrine. We have the two evasion for this. This is survival. We have nothing else going on. I need to remember this is active. This is active. Okay, all that stuff is good. So Barst is good to go. Where's Oh yeah, Barst is gonna do that one. Or in a dash. A bell is the one who can charge right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We want a bell here. A bell is charging. A good thing I looked at. A bell is here. I'm being so greedy with how I'm gonna hit. Harden's gonna be over here. If I go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I gotta have two people in the blind spot, and hopefully. 
shit, this doesn't work the way I want it to. Mm, okay, basically, Abel is going to be the likely target for the second attack. The card attack, and I'm just going to have to dash into the grass accordingly with whoever is the target so that hopefully these guys don't get hit. If I line up this way. I don't even know if this is the best way to line up. Alternatively, we could do this in the opposite. We could do it like this. Uh, these guys rotate. <laughs> Go here. So a bell attacks here, and then we have grass and a grass. <clears throat> and Ogma's here because we want Ogma to take the first hit and he can dash to the grass for more evasion, which will leave him open. Ideally <laughs> four, five, six. Alright, I think that's all fine. Anyway, as I was, you're done. Pardon gets three, and then we get one for this. We get one for the harp. We get uh, no insanity. We have a luck token. All right, all right, all right. I have my leader ready to go. We're hyperactive. I have to move every turn. I need to remember that. And we get one extra armor. <clears throat> uh, this is active. Okay, we'll just say he's the master controller. If this wasn't flipped, I'd probably... Oh, well, I mean, I'd probably finish the turn after moving him. Okay, I think everything is good. Hmm. Alright, so let's begin this fight. Sorry that this, this setup took so long. It's just I'm um, gonna do my best to win here. So the way this fight works, we can hear the, the silent hymn in our minds, or we can feel it in our bodies and we lose a movement just because you know why the hell not we need to make the king's man more difficult than he already was so with that we now enact our plans we're gonna have harden go first harden's gonna go gonna go one two three four i'm gonna dash which is gonna cost us dearly and then we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Hopefully we hit here. We're gonna swing the lantern glaive. It hits on fours, thanks to our accuracy. And uh I just need one of these to hit. Okay, we do have a perfect hit. I don't think that matters to me all that much. I should have used my encourage first in case I get knocked down, but that's okay. So we get one hit. Uh, we get to go through all this battle pressure using King's Step, and then we end up on the Regal Breastplate. Oof! Oof! Oh, not the card we want to see. Hate to see it happen. This makes my starting... Okay. It's not the worst thing in the universe. See if we can wound. So our weapon. Oh yeah, I didn't check it, but this is an early iron weapon. So when we roll to attack, if any of the rolls are a one, the whole attack fails. By the way. So the downside of these on the positive side, we get to add one d10 strength because we are sharp. So we're gonna get our regular roll to wound here, which is a nine. Good job, uh, tabletop. Nice lag. So that does cause a wound already, I think. 9 and 3 and 4. That is 13, 14, 15, 16. So I don't need to roll for sharp. I'm just going to cause a wound. Good start. 
Uh, and then this reflex is going to occur. He's going to face me and move two spaces away from me. He's over there now. Uh... I could follow, but I don't want to surge with Harden. We really want to try to cheese with the counterweighted axe. The only thing is, of course, is far away now. <clears throat> yeah, I can't get in. Right. All right, well, mm, mm, that's not ideal. Okay, we're gonna have a bell go. <clears throat> we're going to dash first. Let me think about this. Dash here. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go here. Four, five, six. Alright, 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 alright. Could go. No. Well. This is the most damage the dagger will ever do, right? Six, seven, and four. 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think we try to get some additional... I was on this, right? Yeah, because I was going to be on the corner of him. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What if I take the first hit? 5, 6. <clears throat> If I'm in the blind spot, he'll aim for a bell first. The bell is fairly dodgy, and I can dash into the grass. Three chances with the dagger to do some damage. I don't have heavy, so I don't have to worry about that. And we just kind of want to get a perfect hit to get more survival. So I think we'll do that. I will charge. We'll get into the blind spot, and we will use the dagger. Okay, we do have a perfect hit. No combo master. Eight, seven, three hits. So we will gain a survival. Pretty cool. Uh, one, two, three. All right, this has to happen first. This is going to reset the battle pressure deck no matter what, I believe. This is a good second location. And then this will happen, which is okay. So not a bad attack. Let's you know what? This this is gonna be funny. <laughs> uh first location. Alright, we got a seven. Seven definitely wounds. Right now we are in the blind spot, so we just need to beat the eleven. So Halberd Spear, we do cause a wound on these go back on top of the hit location deck. I'll just do that. Uh, this is the dagger hitting. By the way, he did wound with a spear, right? We're at two wounds? Yeah, he wounded with the spear, so... He's gonna get proficiency. Not my main focus, but they gotta mark it. Uh, this guy gets three more strength. We're already wounding on twos, so that's a wound as well. We will gain a survival. And the King's Man will stagger and have minus two toughness. Till the end of the turn. That's another wound. It was a pretty good start so far. And that's a critical wound, except there's nothing to crit. So we cry every time. And the King's Man will turn to face me and move two spaces away. Okay, now he's back in range of Harden, and this is a good thing. He's also back in range of Bars. I'm going to encourage Bars now. This is going to give him a speed token because we have leadership. And again, you can encourage standing survivors. Then I'm going to surge and attack with my Lantern Glaive. 
Okay, we have a perfect hit and a one. Perfect hit doesn't matter for us. Uh, just one hit. We can get rid of all this stuff. And we have a good location as well. So let's... Oh wait, I rolled a one! You know what? This didn't happen. This didn't happen. Early iron, guys. Early iron. Alright, we didn't hit him. We, we whiffed the attack because we rolled a one. Alright, so that didn't go out as we wanted, which also means we don't get that survival if we close them. <clears throat> That's okay. We have some knowledge that the next location is good. Alright, Barst is gonna go. I think Barst is a fine candidate for getting... If I'm gonna be giving him speed for a few rounds, I can try to get King Steps. So we're going to dash. And activate. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Two, three. All right. Hey, a perfect hit. So I don't draw any of these cards. We just caused the wound and these two miss. I do hit on fours. Do all the two and a three though. Mm, okay. Okay. At the end of my turn, what if I take the first hit? Because I'm in the grass. I have the highest evasion. That's six evasion. He would hit me three and six. He'd hit me on nines and... So at the end of my movement, I will move forward. One. Hmm. Alright, Agma, Agma scries, that's pretty much what he does if he's not gonna block. Hook and pull and hook and pull, hmm. Alright, furthest threat and field of view in range. So we can set this up. Uh, let me just hide that one, doesn't matter. The furthest threat and field of view in range. Excuse me, one, two. Uh, he's gonna hop here when he attacks Barst because of outfighting. And then when he's here, that'll be one, and then it could be one, two. The furthest threat is gonna be harder. So I can't start in the grass. Uh, if he's here, one, two. I just need to be three away from him. One, two, three, four. I could actually just move to here and that's fine. And then I could dash into the grass. I will surge. May as well play maximum safety. Uh, surge. Alright, we lose our survival with the one. We will block with the beacon shield. And I should be the furthest threat after all this shit gets down. To... I want to be three away, so I actually want to be three, and then one, two. Okay, <laughs> I think we're good. So it'll be the monster's turn. Wait a minute, before it's the monster's turn, before it's the monster's turn, Barst can surge. Oh. I shouldn't have looked at these cards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna surge. I'm gonna try to do the damage. Let's try to do the damage while I can, and then we're just gonna have a mystery card to deal with. Uh, we do get a perfect hit. We have another hit, and we are. Oh wait, we're combo master, aren't we? Yeah. So when I got that perfect hit, I should have rolled again. Alright, for the first combo master, I forgot. You know, it's cheat on me, not the AI. Well, not the monster. Cheat on survivors. We'll add that. Combo master. There's too much information to think about, guys. Right, so we actually have three hits. We caused a wound. He's still hook and pulling. Uh, and three hits, I just hit the battle pressure. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. 
I will do the king step. Let's take chance. Okay, we got a four for the king's step. Um, once. Easily predicted my motion and skewers me with my own momentum. Spend one survival or suffer bad things. So we will spend a survival. We gain a tempo token. These are going to be back on the deck when the monster starts his turn. Now the monster will do his turn. It's a new round. New round. New round. Did I forget anything else? I did wound with an axe. He's a dagger guy though. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not really looking for proficiency. Effic proficiency gain efficiency here. We're just looking to kill the thing. Alright, so these get reshuffled because the kings are... Let me get a sip of my drink. Alright. King's combat. So he's going to basic action. Basic action, which... He's going to do the blind spot survivor out fighting. Swing this way, like whoosh. Stuck on my ruler. There is four dice. Okay, good, good, good. He did hit once, even though we're in the grass. So this is bars. I will let's aggressively dodge. We'll dodge. Mm, I don't know. I just take it. Let me see where I'm getting hit. But I don't get bashed, so I could just take the damage. The only reason why I want to keep the survival is so I can aggressively attack him with the speed token. We need to kill this guy before too many rounds go by. Uh, let me think. We're gonna have three movement on the next turn. Uh, one, four. If I'm gonna be here, I'd have to dash anyway. I may as well dodge to stay in place. So we're gonna dodge to stay in place. So that's our dodge. Won't get hit. Won't be knocked back. Knock back effect. And then the AI card hook and pull. Where this threat and field of view in range should be Agma. So he's gonna go... Oh yeah, I didn't consider that. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We're, we're still in range. So hook and pull, he'll be out fighting one away. Uh, fair this threat, field of view, it's four dice, same thing. Oh right, so on the flow... Because I don't want any of these to hit me. On the flow, we're going to dash. Keep our survival. We used our dash with Agma, and we're gonna go on. So we would have gone here before he moved, which means he would just move up one, and then he'd be within range two. He's actually there. Since we're in the grass, now we'll get a hit. All right, miss, 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 and hit. What is our evasion? It is 2 plus 2 in the grass, 4, and 3 is 7. So yeah, 7 or higher. His hit is blocked by our shield. So we don't take any damage, nothing hit. We're not getting pulled. After damage, we're not getting grabbed. That's a good first turn. It is our turn. We can hear that damn him getting louder. We're reverberating, man. We don't like it. All right. Three. I only need to be two away. It's safer if Bars doesn't try to wound because he's only at strength 6 and I have to be to 15. So I think I should encourage Bars to attack first. This will move Bars out of the way. Then Harden can attack from the grass later if he recovers his battle pressure.
The bell can just go in the blind spot this round, so I won't have to worry about charge. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna attack with force first. Before we do that, we're gonna encourage Boris, so he gets his token back, which Encourage Boris, he's got three dice, we want nines and tens here. Alright, we have two hits, so we got rid of two of these battle pressures. I will king step again. Okay, that's a four, which means I need to spend a survival or suffer. I'm burning through a survival extremely fast, but that's okay. I'm gonna surge and attack again. Uh, we get another lunacy token. That was for the king's step. Attack again. That's what we want to see. The perfect hit. Okay, we have one perfect hit and one regular hit, so we will get rid of this last battle pressure. Okay, so you just discard unresolved hit locations with the battle pressure. So what I'm, we we get our wound first, and then we can do this. So I'm gonna king step again. Hey, all right. I lost some survival, but pretty lucky. We've learned uh, ten plus. We gain king step fighting art. We overcome the pressure of battle. And now I can also delete this damn thing. If I want. But I might not want to. Depends. Uh. <clears throat> okay, and then we're gonna move. One. Two. Three. Alright. Actually. One, two, three. We're gonna move backwards more so I stay out of the range of this. Next, we want a bell. Oh, yeah, he just has King Spear. Five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eleven is what I want to beat. So that's a two plus the wound in the blind spot with this. If I go with the bone dagger, it's pretty good odds still. Bone dagger would be. We also get survival back still. Hmm. One, two, three. All right, we'll have a bell go. We're gonna attack with the. I'd I'd rather guarantee wounds right now. We have a lot of survival, so I'll actually go with the king's spear. Not guaranteeing wounds. We hit on a five. We hit on a four, three, two. We actually hit on twos, and we wound on two. We have a perfect hit, we have an 8, and I don't get any benefits for that. There's two hits there. Okay, I'm gonna do... Gonna knock us down if I don't quit. We'll do it in this order. First hit location is a wound, so we're doing pretty good here. We will gain one survival, and he will stagger. Let me just flip this. Okay. Did I draw the wound? I think I drew the wound. I really hope I drew the wound. I wasn't paying attention. I get a survival. I think I drew the wound. And then for the next location, maybe I can crit. No, but we do wound on a two... Uh, I will spend two survival, because I don't want him... Who's he gonna knock down? He would knock down Agma and me. Uh, that doesn't really matter. Do I want a Courage on a Bell? I guess? I'll spend it. 
I'll spend the two cur we'll get a courage. We'll deflect the halberd. We caused another wound. And uh that is that. Then I will surge and we'll attack with the spear again. Alright, that's two more hits. Okay, we did hit the trap card, so King's Man trap card, probably the gen most generous trap in the game. Everyone's doomed, everyone within two spaces would take nine damage. <laughs> but if you have a shield, you can ignore this. <gasps> Wait a minute! I am a spear specialist attacking with a spear. Alright, I almost forgot about that. This is why we're using the spear. Spear specialization. Damn it. Okay, so the trap will cancel my attack. I won't ignore. Yeah, I won't ignore the uh, the thing. So he's going to cancel my attack. He won't hurt anybody because we all have shields. Unfortunately, I missed the opportunity to wound. All right, not bad. I'm back at four survival. I guess it could be. That was two people. The trap happens, so the battle pressure is also back on top. What's up? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just listening in on the stock talk. <laughs> Well, by all means, man, don't hold back just because I'm present. <laughs> wow! You know, just pretend I'm not here. Now I want to hear what you think I sound like. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, let, let me let me hear this impression, man. Can't back out. <laughs> I should have just not said anything. <laughs> A friend was gonna impersonate me, now he doesn't want to do it, little punk. Nah, no, I can I don't think stock statistics are related to tier list opinions, but alright. <laughs> you just make me sound bad, man. I, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being picked on by my friend. Yeah, you bully. Alright, I'm thinking of, uh, what do we want to do? Ogma. Harden. The Harden can just try to do some damage. I don't have to, like, surge or anything. The bell's taken the first hit and we want to reposition Ogma here. So, why don't we go here with Harden? Attack with the Lantern Glaive. One, one, one. Alright, we got a seven and a four. The four does hit as we also have... You know, I didn't realize before, but my party is highly accurate. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is like all the dudes that have accuracy, even she has accuracy. Man, I've gotten a lot of accuracy. Place there. That's. I didn't even notice. Anyway, we had two hits, so we can get rid of all this junk. Look at the top, too. There we have a first strike locale. We are not wearing any heavy gear. Uh, wearing means it has to be armor, so you can actually you can hit this location with the beacon shield and you'll be fine. But we have to do this first. These are gonna go back on top of the deck and then he'll. his reflex gonna happen that's gonna change thing okay we got a five for the first roll and then sharp so five and four is nine 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so we do cause a wound in the first location praise be to sharp and then these go back on top of the deck second location watch that crit Yep, got the crit with my luck. No crits here. <laughs> uh, nine and six. Uh, uh, nine, four, and three. That's enough to win. So no need to roll for sharp. 
and the reflex will occur. So he's gonna face me, you, not me. Uh, did I draw another wound for that? I think I did. Is that the first thing I did? Man, there's too much information happening. I'm like losing my mind. I'm just too. <laughs> I guess it's not a good idea for me to do a recording in Discord. I'm listening to people in the background and my oh god. Ugh! Nerves! Because I want this fight to go well, which is going beautifully! He's got six wounds left and he hasn't done too much damage. I have an achievement idea too, if I can pull it off. Let's see. Alright, so he's here. He's actually going to target Ogma first, which is good. So, Ogma, I'm going to scry the AI deck. Oof, this is a card we don't want to see. Alright, Hammer is probably his most dangerous card in the deck because destroy your armor just means he's going to flat out severe injury you and you're probably going to die. Oh, whoops. Alright, trip. Trip is much nicer, but it's furthest threatener. <laughs> furthest threat in range is Barst. Barst is uh Harden's gonna get knocked down and knocked back unless I dash out of the way. I can just dash on a flow. So going after Barst isn't bad. Uh, Bars does have the best evasion, so I think we do want Trip. Okay, then we're going to... Uh, Bell's gonna get knocked down, that's okay too, because of Collision. Yeah, I think this works fine. Or no, he, he, yeah, he will be, because he's gonna have to get here. Okay, I think this works. We're gonna surge, we're gonna surge. We're gonna raw hide armor set bonus check. Okay, we keep our survival. We are gonna block with the beacon shield. We're gonna enjoy this FTL music playing. And I think that ends our turn. So next round, King's combat happens. This guy is the closest threat. So he's gonna swing this way and four diced the grass. We have an extra evasion. Based grass. Oh shit! He's got a guaranteed hit. And the nine hits too, I think. We're two and two is only four evasion. Three, so he hits on sevens. We do block both of those, so luckily enough. So that's the block. No damage dealt. We don't get knocked back or anything. And then he'll draw his AI. Trip furthest threat in range. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is Barse. He's in range of six. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. He's going to stand here. When he stands here, Harden. Burden on the flow of trip will... Wait, we have all our stuff back. Let me do that. We're gonna dash. We're gonna... Just move here. He's gonna be here. Uh, we have all our stuff back. And... Barst is the target, so he's gonna gain an insanity. Barst is going to just stay out here and take it. I'm not going to hide in the grass. But during the flow, I will... Mm, I don't want to surge or dash or anything. I just want to attack. So you know what? During the... Oh, wait. He has to walk to me. We'll move him. Okay, so yeah. We're just going to take the hit. We're going to take it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna take this. One, four, two, all misses. The nine does hit, so we are getting hit in one location. Our arms, uh, 
Now this doesn't knock us back, it just knocks us down. But we ignored Bash, so it doesn't knock us down either. Take four damage to the arms due to the plus one. And we ignored Bash, so we're actually okay. Rip us. Alright. <clears throat> How do we post? Well, first of all, we can hear that damn rhythm in our minds. This is the third turn. He is almost dead. Six more wounds. Honestly, if Bars got lucky right here, it could happen. We'll do the same thing I did before. Going to encourage. I am. Almost out of this stuff. Bars will get this token back. These are gone, by the way. I will go with Bars first. We will attack with the counterweighted axe. Nines and tens, please. Eee, eee, oh shit, that's two wounds. I'll take them out soon. Take them out soon. Nines and tens. Okay, that's a hit. That's a hit. So we have two hits. We have two wounds. Holy shit, counterweighted axe is OP. Uh, all right, two hits. I do not want to fight through his thing. So what I'm going to do is, where's the king step? Whenever you attack, you may discard any number of battle pressures. So what I'm going to do is not discard the first one. And for the second hit, I'll discard that just to draw this. And then I'm not going to discard this to draw a location. We're just going to open him up. Actually, I'm not even going to do that because I'm going to surge. So we'll just draw the two and leave them there. I'm going to keep the one here. Just so there's a buffer location because, yeah, we're going to attack again. This is our purpose in life, is to counterweighted axe spam. Hells yes. This is a three, according to tabletop. We got one more wound! Alright, and that hits and that hits. So, the three does not hit. Where are we? Plus two? Yeah, three does not hit. One more wound. He only has trip and hook and pull. Nine. Uh, two hits. So one on this, one on this. I won't, I won't discard that. So it's just the one. We're trying to uh, burn the locations because I can only wound on like a ten. Pretty sure. So I failed to wound. Uh, reflex. Discard the battle pressure. I'm getting a basic action. All right. So when he basic actions me, I can't react. During the flow of the... Mm. I can just try to kill him right now. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, these are back on top. Basic actions happening. During this flow, Harden will surge now. And attack... So this is Harden's attack with the lantern. Wow! Okay, let's be patient. Let's be patient. Early iron. We, we failed this. Oh boy, it wasn't meant to be. That That's a warning. Just let Boris take the hit. What I was about to do, I was going to dash a bell in and surge and dash Ogma and surge. But we'll just wait because I need to strip that. I need to strip this armor off. So, Boris is getting hit. And we dodge, we dodge. We think we're getting hit on sevens. We're at four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay, so that's two hits. I can't dodge these, so we could take... Yes, we're going to take a severe arm injury. We ignore the first severe arm injury, but one, two... Oh, actually, we don't. I can take two hits. Okay, that's cool. So we're heavily injured on the arms, and we're getting injured on the waist. That'll knock me down, and... One, two, three, four, five. We're over here now. So I'm pretty irrelevant. Alright, that was his reaction. 
Now we're gonna activate Harden. Harden, I'm gonna move Harden here in the front. And then we'll attack again. Hopefully we get no ones. Okay, okay, we got a perfect hit. That doesn't do anything for me. So we do have two hits. I will draw two cards with this. Could I have gone into his blind spot? No, I only have two movement. So we'll stay in the grass. X-Blade is the first strike. God damn it. All these cards that put the battle pressure back on top. So annoying. Alright. Well. Hmm. I can still do this if I crit. 9 or 10. Alright, we got a 7 for the first roll. And then for the sharp. We got a 6. So we do wound 7 and 6 and 4 and 3. I'm not going to do the math too hard. But we do cause a wound. The battle pressure is back on top. We're not knocked down. Second location, the Reflex. First chance to wound. Okay, we got a two and then Sharp. Alright, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I actually do not wound with that one. That is just gone. Well, too low. That's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Alright. It's all up to Abel. So, Abel's gonna go. We're just gonna walk into the blind spot. We're gonna attack with the dagger. Wanna get hits? Alright, we have eight, a seven, and a five, I believe, in the blind spot. That's a six. That's five, yeah. Five, four, three. We hit on threes. Uh, that is three hits, no perfect hits. I am not going to king step. We're just gonna merc the battle pressure. And then I will surge and we will use the king spear for the extra damage. The more guaranteed hit. Now that cost me a survival. Alright, we missed one, we hit one. Okay, regal face plate. It is a 6, so 6 and 5 is 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, ugh, went off, I need a 7. Okay, so no wound. Ogma can try? Oh wait, we're in the blind spot, 11 is a wound. No, 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 we wounded. We wounded. Okay. Harden wants to get the killing blow because Harden is already turning into a king's man. I don't want to break any of my armor sets. So now this is the tricky part. We're going to have Agma go. Agma. Uh, right now, Abel is the target. I will surge. I have one more surge with Harden, so I might kill him when he attacks Abel. Uh, he's just gonna basic attack twice, so we can go one, two. There's really no reason for me to move closer. He's gonna basic twice, so Harden and Abel are the targets. I'm just gonna hide in the grass. For now, hide in the grass. Alright. Mm. This is the start of the monster's turn. I'm gonna leave Barst knocked down just for conveniency. King's combat is going to target a bell. And before he hits a bell on the flow, we're gonna try to have Harden go for the kill. This is his last survival. So we'll surge. We have two hits. We get rid of all this bullshit. No trap. 
We have the impervious location, so I need to wound on the Regal Greaves, and I unfortunately got to beat a 15. First attempt. That's a good number. Second attempt. That is how you handle a level 2 Kingsman, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 8 and 6 and 4 and 3. That will be a kill of the level 2 Kingsman. The plume is a funny location. Maybe if I critted that, I would have made that an achievement too. So the achievement I had in mind, just something a little more on the technical side, but we killed him before Silent Him proc the brain trauma, so I think I'm going to make that an achievement. We killed him in three turns before anyone lost uh, enough movement for that thing. Why don't we open the notebook? Uh, we can add the king's man to the monsters list. And I'll come up with a fun name for it, but... The killed... A level 2 plus... King's man before... Silent... Him... Uh, cause any brain trauma. There you go. I think that's a good achievement. This went a lot smoother than I had. I was like thinking everyone was gonna die. Honestly, we had some absurdly good luck. Uh, counterweighted axe guy carried hard. Everything went well. Let me pack up all these cards here. They're all copied so I can delete them. Yeah, this fight can go really bad. Shoutouts to Grass, Tall Grass, RNG. Tall Grass is OP. Need you. Guys can all go back. We have minimum damage too. I did not harvest the resource, but that's okay. It's a king's man. I think surviving is the priority. Alright, so level 2 King's Man. We get 100 XP, 1 weapon proficiency level, or monster level spear. Proficiency levels plus rewards. I'll do the rewards in a moment. So we get one. Uh, he did not wound with an axe. This stuff is all gone. This can go here. This is unnecessary. I didn't even use this guy to tank. Okay. Uh, we get one. Flip this, flip that. This is gone. We did not wound with an axe, so that's all good. Bars did not wound with a dagger, he gets the one, that's all gone. Did get king step though. I used a lot of my survival up there. Uh and you get one. You get two spear proficiency. And one hundred XP. Okay. I think that's all. So rewards wise, uh Harden killed again, so the survivor that dealt the final wound is gonna King's Curse. And then roll 1d10 plus the defeated monster's level on the table below. So let's do that first. Damn, almost a 10. So we have a 6. Uh, each survivor gains one random fighting art. I guess a uh, 10 would have bad or too much. If we have nightmare training for level 3 plus, we would... Uh, get King's Step again. Uh, but we don't want that. So, what do we get? A random fighting on everyone? Let's do that first, so. First person. I'm gonna do it like this. Second person. Third person. 
the, the hassles of being romantic conviction. Fourth person. Okay. Also, nice area 77 music for UN Squadron. Game was amazing. If you guys haven't played it and you like shmups, it was really good. Okay, uh, we have room on him, so it doesn't matter what he gets. Thrill Seeker is pretty good, though. I'll take Thrill Seeker. Uh, second person, we have Aim Dextrous that I don't mind getting rid of. Last man standing. Monster Claw. Up dash. Monster Claw on a bell is actually a pretty legitimate idea. Savage is if you critically. I'm gonna give him Monster Claw for now. Get rid of Dexterous. Let me scroll the screen. Okay, third person. We have. We want to keep the Dream Team combo. We have one more Kingsman to fight, right? There's a level 3. Arden is still going to be around, so I don't need to keep the King's Step if I want to keep the Barst around. Berserker Strategist Double Dash. Alternatively, I do keep the King's Step. I actually get rid of Timeless Eye, and then I try to get it back later if I need it. No, I'd rather keep the time aside. Fuck King Step. <laughs> we worked hard on King Step. Hopefully, Harden lives to the end. Uh, I will take. Double Dash. Take double dash, and I'll get rid of King's Step. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, and then I guess double dash I don't care about too much. We have... Uh, damn it, he got leader again. I was really hoping someone else would get leader. Berserker Raider. I think I can't choose that, so we have to pick one of the other two. And then. You know, if I play the next fight the same way, once I run out of survival aggressively, uh, I don't need this against Kingsman. So if he's just a Kingsman killer, we'll take Berserker. Could come in handy. Although, if I do... Yeah, I actually don't want Berserker. Uh, yeah, I'll just take Order Raider. Death. <laughs> yeah, I'll just take the Order Raider of Death. Never mind. Uh... Okay. So, that was that shit. Now, King's Curse. We have to roll this and some other thing. You have to have insider information in order to do that. I.e. you need to be like a senator or governor, someone who gets that kind of information. <clears throat> ah, then I guess you do have to be a little careful. Uh, 
My friends have been talking stocks this whole time. It's been an interesting topic. Anyway, we have... Right, I really wish this would be changed to the next round so you could play... I said this before, it would be cool if you could play one hunt with King's gear and then after that, if the set is already complete they they go seek a greater purpose and they like don't return maybe you could even make the sacrifice be since they don't return from the hunt they don't give you an endeavor they don't die or anything i mean they don't die here either ah this does say they are dead you actually do death principle then <laughs> anyway i rolled the body we've got the body already so we have to re-roll our head! Alright, so our skull erupts from inside our head, the bone twisting and hardening into a plated exoskeleton. Gain a random disorder and the regal helm rare gear and place in your gear grid now. I have lost my skull helm playing by the game's rules. That is destroyed. Uh Regal Helm. It's been a while since we've gotten any rare gear. Yeah. Alright, so we had the Regal Helm. Is cursed. Is cool looking though. And, uh. We get a disorder. Fear the Dark. <laughs> ah, fuck me. We're immortal. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's just I can't do the leader thing again. Ah, <sighs> well, okay. All right, so I believe that's everything. I can delete these. Yeah, no big deal. Keep playing. Hmm. Got that. We don't do that. We got cursed. We got this stuff. I think we're done. Guys, welcome to Lantern Year 20. We have a big event this year. But first, we have a settlement event. We also get five endeavors. Four for the returning survivors. One for cooking. I think that is all for that so, settlement event. The plague! Sickness sweeps through the settlement. Survivors are stricken without warning. Made too weak to even care for themselves. Select four survivors with at least one hun XP. They are infected. Each rolls 1d10, add plus one to the result for every science innovation our settlement has. And then there's lingering effects. <clears throat> we can do treatment this year. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We have a plus five. Okay, people are getting sick. Uh, Harden is important. Forest is kind of okay. Uh, just pick people we don't care about. Anir, she got sick. Gordon, Gordon got sick. I care about the Versa. We need to fix it. Uh, Zane and Est can't do it. I guess Minerva. Alright, so in this order, left to right, these guys got sick, left to right. So we're gonna roll some dice, see if they recover. Plus five is pretty good. Late game plague is really not that bad. Plus we have bloodletting anyway. Uh, 15, this is a four, so that's a nine. Uh, that's a whatever. Everyone got a 10 plus. Except for the one dude who's got a nine. But nine and 10, they make a full recovery. So. <clears throat> 
No worries, Plague is okay late game. It's really quite detrimental early game. Uh, so nothing happened there. Now we have a timeline event. We have a watched. The watched event, one of the last. Dark spots spread across the Lantern Horde. A nervous hush falls over the settlement. Slowly, the most daring survivors peer past the darkened lantern, venturing beneath them into a vast chamber. Unknown and undreamed of. I don't know how we've never found it until now. Uh, slumbering in the center of the chamber, the survivors can feel a presence of immense danger. Our ultimate predator would soon awake. Distinguishing the lantern light that holds the endless darkness at bay. Starting with the next settlement phase, the survivors may awaken and face the sleeping menace. You may move Nemesis and counter a watcher to the current lantern year. You cannot move it to a year that already has a Nemesis encounter on the timeline. The settlements have a different response to the discovery based on our conviction. So uh, this is a change in how the Watcher used to be. 1.5, once you're watched, we can just fight them at any point we want. Anytime we feel ready. Except for year 23. And... Uh, we'll have to consider that as a new option. Otherwise, he is preset to year 25. He has to happen. So, we're romantic. Uh, the survivors decide they must learn the perfect fighting art to prepare themselves. Gain the final fighting art innovation. This does not count towards your settlement's innovation total. And then nominate a survivor and roll 1d10. So, we have somebody who might not appear. And we might get Bone Witch. If I do get Bone Witch, maybe we can set up not one but two counterweighted axe survivors and just embrace the power of the axe. If I do get Bone Witch, we can make that work. Otherwise, the survivor is going to start laughing. And uh, I think he's immortal. So, it's a 50-50 on whether we die or not. We're going to just have a near... You know what, I'll tell you what. We'll have Minerva do this. If she becomes immortal, I swear I will fix her apathy. Otherwise, she can just die. <laughs> so, let's get the final fighting art first. Final fighting art. That can go up here. Our survival limit is plus one. Once per showdown, you may select a card from the discard pile or wound stack and place it on top of the AI deck. I don't know why you would want to take something from the wound stack and put it back on top unless you're trying to avoid a really bad card, but you can uh, put something that was discarded back on top and try to get rid of it. Survival limit is nine. Duelist, right? <laughs> I was joking with my friend. <laughs> Alright. We have nine survival. This survival limit is highly, highly, highly temporary, unfortunately. I don't know why they make you get rid of it, but... It's Poots. He does whatever he wants. These guys don't have to skip the next hunt anymore. Okay, so now we need to roll on the chart. I'm kind of rooting for Bone Witch, in all honesty. But if she goes insane, then I'm gonna make use of her. Minerva starts cackling with mad laughter. She starts screaming and, and losing her mind. Gains a permanent strength, 10, insanity. 
And the Immortal Disorder. You know what this means? Someone else has it. Let me add that to your thing. So what I could do is try to cheese a lion at some point. And uh, she would be pretty much invincible as long as we don't. She would be amazing. Good, honestly. I just need to get rid of apathy. Okay, so maniacal laughter, no bone witch cheese for us. And I can fight the Watcher anytime I want. So the main thing with Watcher, his toughness is equal to the Lantern Year. I should probably have said spoiler alert for that first, but basically he's got 25 toughness here. You can fight him now, he's only got 20. It really depends on your strategies going in. We will be utilizing Red Survivor. Uh, I'm not in a rush to fight him. Yet. So, I don't think I need to worry about that. Okay, and that was watched. Why does this thing, like, always freak out? Okay, it just broke for some reason. Just wanted to make sure there's nothing else after that page. Okay, the script just breaks here. At least we can manually change the page. God damn it. Oh, I can't even shortcut. What, what is the next page button? Page up. Where's page? It is page. Page up is backwards. Page down. I need the page down button. Okay. The so blackout is nuts. I just wanted to make sure. I am so sad that this script just seems to be dying more and more all the time. I love this table. I do hope... Uh, I'm not a tabletop. I'm not not script savvy. I'm very hopeful someone comes along and makes a a new table that's clean like this. You know, this one didn't have anything complicated. It just has everything available and it had some nice conveniences. Anyway, we're in the settlement phase. So the two things I want to do, we're going to ret this herb and get a basic hide out of the deck and then we're going to use that to innovate and we're going to hopefully get family going delete that we want family uh 50% chance didn't get it. Okay, so we're gonna take a couple more years to get everything I want. Right now, what we want to do is not add consequences to the deck. So I think partnership is what we're going to take. Partnership is... Not what I would prefer to have, honestly. What is a storytelling consequence? Pictograph, Bid and Dance, Family, Storytelling's Records. Oh yeah, so Records is a whole mini game in itself. This Records is the reason why you wanna you wanna keep track of who killed what on what year. Harden. Yeah, I never mentioned it before, but uh I'm just gonna say King's Man 1 and 2 killed. Records is another thing. If you rush for records and you go heavy in utilizing records, you can have a big advantage against King's Man and getting his thing. Uh. 
I think I want Forbidden Dance now, then. And I'll just... It'll still be a 50% chance, which is pretty good odds. I'm gonna take Forbidden Dance. This is music. Alright, and we add the consequence of that, which is the heart flute. Okay. I don't know why I didn't take that out. I got distracted by the damn music. Okay. So we have Forbidden Dance. This is good to try to get that 40% permanent evasion once in a lifetime. I haven't really made use of Synchronized Strike in this playthrough, but uh... Synchronized Strike... Th like this... You have to use it. It is pretty good though. They really did try to make Synchronized Strike a thing. Alright, I have three more endeavors. Thank you guys for watching, as usual. This went beautifully, honestly. It was a very fast, very efficient level 2 Kingsman kill. Seriously, don't, don't look at this video and think he's a chump. I definitely over-strategize. But I feel like it's necessary for him because he's disgusting if you don't. We also got stupid lucky. Grass is really lucky. I got my... And it didn't come into play, but it almost came into play. We got our mastery just before. That was stupid lucky. I got tons of perfect hits with the counterweighted axe. It's pretty lucky, even on a 9 and 10. I got really lucky. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I got lucky. For the time being, you know what? I know what to do. She's laughing maniacally. I said I'd take care of her. Uh, we're gonna have Minerva try to get fixed. Pull her out here. I don't know what else I'm gonna do with my thing. I don't have any organs to spend. We, we basically just want to get resources and innovate. I think a level 3 antelope I can handle. Should be able to. So we can go after legendary horns. I don't know if I'm gonna fuck with a level 3 phoenix in this playthrough. I have to figure that out. I don't know what I'm doing here. Anyway, we're gonna take a scrap. We're gonna use a scrap. We're going to use an endeavor. We're gonna do some bloodletting. And breathe a vein on Minerva. Okay, we've got a three. So she will gain one understanding, lose all her survival, and she can't gain survival this phase for any reason, that's fine. I'm going to do that again. I said I'd fix her. I'm a man of my word. We're going to try to fix her. Okay, we're going to fix her one way or the other. She is a tame tinker in sight. That's gone. I don't think I need to ret any more herbs, so I can use an herb for the next one. This is for the insight. Okay, we got a four. Milestone. Insight. Good fucking god, can we please? <laughs> okay. Settlement phase. Gain plus one endeavor. Cool. Alright, uh, we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna use the herb this time. We're gonna bloodlet. Let out some blood. We're gonna gain another understanding. Like I said, I'm gonna cure this one way or another. We're gonna bloodlet again. The only other thing I would have done instead of spamming bloodletting on this character and hoping for the best, should probably have. Uh, I might re roll that. Should probably have started forbidden dancing on people, but uh, I'll, I'll save the forbidden dance for my kids. <clears throat> so basically, we want to make the next generation of kids, and then we want to fight the Watcher with them. 
with as much evasion as we can. I can also get cooking ready, so we might grind the antelope for a few years, get at least one evasion tank who dodges everything except on tens, and then we'll try to wreck the watcher. I think that's the plan. As for the butcher, if I have a bunch of useless people, I might just do the funny thing and get rid of him. We'll see. Maybe I'll go after killing him. Just to say I did it. Uh, I'm tempted to use a survival to for this reroll. I am, just for the hell of it. Survival of the fittest! <laughs> we will use. This is not efficient. Everything I'm doing right now, don't do this. But I'm doing it for Minerva. She's laughing maniacally. Can you get an 8? You know what, let's just... Okay, that's just 3 insanity for Syncope. So she was not able to get cured yet. I will continue to try later. It depends, really. Also, I might have more. Do, does anyone have Tinker? I had a Tinker. We have one more Endeavor, actually. We're going to try again. I wasted a survival defense there. And he's my last Lantern. I don't think I'll need him. Hey, it only took every endeavor in the settlement, but we are cured. We can get rid of the disorder. That means Minerva is actually a very good character. What is the rule of immortal? Can't spend the survival? Yeah, I don't know why I wanted to cure apathetic so badly. <laughs> Can't spend survival while I'm insane, so I don't need... I just want to gain it, I guess. It would be nice to have it. That is cured. Minerva is quite the bruiser. And, uh, she really doesn't need to be learning fist and tooth. <sighs> The next priority is to get shield mastery at least. I would like axe mastery too, but that's probably not happening anytime soon. Unless I like farm a phoenix and grind out its death location. And dagger. Alright, it's possible. Anyone else skipping a hunt? You're secretive, so he has to skip the next hunt, and that's it. Okay, guys. Once again, thank you very much for joining me. This went really well, and I hope that their hunts continue to go this good. This is about as good as a campaign ever gets, right? I don't know, maybe people are insanely lucky. I am probably going to fight an antelope. Level 3. Toughness is actually 16 because of legendary horns. And, uh, yeah, he's slightly harder to hit. But I have a bunch of accuracy, apparently. If I get the Longinus Lance, we will have all of our weapons. We'll have a Longinus Lance. We have the Lantern Glaive. We have daggers. And then we have a counterweighted axe. So I actually... Since the Bone Witch isn't showing up, yeah, we don't want another counterweighted axe. We just one should suffice. But yeah, I'll, I'll plan out the survivors and stuff, and we'll do another Lantern Year. I might just jump straight into it, honestly, but I'll end this recording here. Keep the video times down. But anyway, take care, guys. Happy Kingdom Deathing. May your level 2 Kingsmans be as glorious as mine was.